Hello YouTube. So I just finished the uh, single servo conversion. Um, you know, the, the stock servos, my stock servos were working fine and everything, but they just, you know, they just seemed a little bit too weak and uh, just not adequate for the job. And and, uh, and I've kind of seen a lot of failures, so I thought I'd go ahead and, you know, do the upgrade. Um, let me get the body off of here real quick. And uh, as you can see, I went ahead and used the... Uh, the Traxxas 400 servo. I know I'm probably gonna catch some uh, stuff in the comments for that one. <laughs> I know there's plenty of better servos out there, you know, for less money. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just got lazy, man. <laughs> I looked up the specs, 400 uh, ounce inch of torque. Um, you know, it had a really long cable. I could mount it on either side I wanted to. Um, you know, I, I put it on this side, it, it, it doesn't really matter what side you put it on, to be honest with you. But, you know, you have the speed control on this side, you got the receiver over here. But if you look, the motor is kind of shifted more, you know, it shifted more to that side. So, yeah, the weight wise, but it really, it really, it really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I, I tried it out a little bit around the house. I'm, I'm, fairly impressed with the precision of it you know um this is the box that it comes in it's a little you know whatever <laughs> little plastic box um then i went ahead and um i used the strc Let's see if i can get this in the camera strc aluminum arm here because i thought the plastic would be a little bit too flimsy um so I, I used that. I thought it'd be a little bit more solid. I still have the plastic, you know, the stock plastic uh, horn on there. Um, and then I went ahead and used a, uh, I used the stiffer spring, uh, the 5344X servo saver spring. Um, I went ahead with the, with the, uh, the thicker spring. And I, I got this, uh, this cover over here for the other side. Um, shape shapeways I guess is where you get it and it's united uh, united RC uh, that, that was kind of a you know kind of a raping in a way I mean the, the part the price of the part isn't that big of a deal it's like seven bucks but then by the time you ship it I mean you're paying 15 bucks for that piece of plastic and you know what I mean I mean it is nice it is a good quality part though it is it is good it fits well but, you know, money-wise, you know, I, I went ahead and bought it. But like I tell my kids, you know, with me and money, you know, use me an as an example of what not to do, you know. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, th there's some pros and cons to this, this servo. You know, obviously the pro is the longer cord, not needing an extension cord. Um, I like the specs on it. The speed is okay, you know, at points, you know, 0, 1, 5. The price... Eh, $99. Um, I think it's more of an $89 servo. I think I'm paying $20 for the Traxxas tax here. See the Traxxas sticker? That's what you're paying like 20 bucks for that. <laughs> but it's uh, it's metal geared and, you know, the cons to it, again, maybe the price is a tad high. Um, the other con, you know, it's like, I don't know. I think when you buy fairly expensive gear like this i mean it's not that expensive you can spend you can spend triple this on a servo but it's kind of a mid-range a lot of people like to take their you know electronics out of the the cars and switch them into other cars and say you're building some techno mt410 or 43.8 buggy and you got your teakin electronics in there you know your max amp batteries and everything and all this trick stuff in there and then you're going to move your Traxxas servo into it? No. <laughs> I don't think so. So th this Traxxas servo is fine where it is. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's give it a let's give it a little test here. Look at the fan, man. That thing is taking a beating again. It still works. I can't believe it. Alright. So let's see. Let me just kind of just put this up like here kind of see what's going on down here but it, it's pretty fast I mean all in all put it down on the street I'll just go without the body for now 
But I think um, as far as like, it, it, is, it is pretty quick. But I, I just feel like it's just a little more precise, you know, in turning in slow speeds, like just, I don't feel you could do that with the other one, with the other ones, you know? Um, but that's about all you can really tell. I mean, I can't, you know, driving at full speed, of course, you're not gonna really, really notice it that much. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what's going on and, and what I did. Um, you know, you can do this a lot of different ways. You can do, you know, you can do the one Savox serve, you know, I think that's how you say it, Savox servo or, uh, you know, dual servos. But I kind of just went with the simple plan, you know, less complicated. And if you look at, um, you know, if you, if you go to uh, Traxxas website and you look up this servo, it does say on there that this servo is meant for uh, converting the Revo to one single servo. It, it, is, it can be used for that, it says, actually. So I think even Traxxas kind of, you know, realizes it. But uh, that, you know, I, I don't know why, you know, when they revamped this thing, you know, 2.0, I don't know why they just didn't revamp it to, to just go with a single servo. But maybe it had something to do with maybe a patent issue or something like that. You know, I'm not sure, but uh, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, I like it again. It's $99. The springs like $250. Uh, the arm you can find those arms, you know, pretty easily around there on eBay or straight from STRC. They're like 10 bucks. You know, and that cover is completely unnecessary, but that's <laughs> you can find that online too. Um, it, it 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 is actually a, a pretty quality piece. And then I went ahead and left the, uh, I left the guard on there, on this side anyway. I thought maybe it'd protect the chassis a little bit from rocks. Stuff's been hitting it, so. Uh, yeah, so so that's it. Um, I'll put some miles on this thing and, you know, get back with you to let you know how it's doing so far. I like it, man. I like the precision. I really do. I feel, I feel it's way more precise, so. All right, well, uh, that's it for now. I'll get back to you after I have some time with this thing. Thank you.